All right, good evening, America, and welcome to Decision Making 2020. We're going to do our two cents worth commentary here if we can get this other device working. So, oops, there we go. We're sideways now. That's not what we wanted. Do this, do this. Let's try this. To testify and that he has new relevant information. On January 13th, reports emerged the Russian government oh, hacking. Here we go. Button it up there, Jerry. Look at that suit. Good morning, everyone. It's a very important day for us. And as you know, I'm reference temporal markers that our founders and our poets and others. Look at that penguin. I did not choose those glasses, folks. When he gets ready to retire, he can join the circus as a clown, and he won't even have to change his clothes. Will you look at that outfit? Now, she ain't but about five foot two with pumps on. She's no big girl, and he's half her size. I didn't know Jerry Nadler was a midget. Okay, we'll go on. Have used over time uh, to place us in time to emphasize the importance of time. Because everything is about time, how we use it, how we make, how we uh, mark it. How we waste it. We just wasted 14 months of the Mexican-Canadian trade bill on my desk. We do nothing, Democrats. And today is an important day because today... I finally got off my butt to send the impeachment articles forward. Our engrossment. Is that cocktail hour, Nancy? As I've said, it's always been uh, our founders when they started. When in the course of human events, it becomes necessary. When? When? Four score and seven years ago, it was necessary, huh? You guys have been trying to impeach him for four score and seven years. My children and you will hear the midnight ride of Paul Revere on the 18th of April. Look at that little Fox. clown. Are there men now alive that remembers that famous day and year? Always about marking wow. history using time. On December 18th, House of Representatives impeached the President of the United States. After wasting three years and doing nothing, we finally lied our way to an impeachment bill. Even though we gave the president no courtesy in Congress. Time has revealed many things since then. Time has been our friend in all of this because it has yielded incriminating evidence. It gives us time to make up more lies against our president, the greatest president this country's ever had. Uh, on December 20th, two days later, new email showed that 91 minutes after Trump's phone call with uh, President Zelensky, a top office of management and budget uh, aid asked the Department of Defense to hold off on the UK, Ukraine aid. On December 29th, revelations emerged about the OMB director and acting chief of staff Omani's role in the delay of the effort by lawyers of the, in the administration to justify the delay and the alarm. This is very important that the alarm that the delay time uh, caused was in the administration. On January 2nd, newly unredacted Pentagon emails, which the House subpoenaed and the president blocked, raised serious concerns by the Trump administration officials. By Trump administration officials, they were concerned about the legality of the president's hold on the aid to the Ukraine. On January 6th, former Trump national... According to who, Nancy? Said he would comply with a Another lie. How's there going to be new information? You have the transcript, stupid. Gas company, Burisma, as part of their ongoing effort to influence U.S. elections to support in support of President Trump. And just yesterday, the House committee to affirm 
chairman here. Oh, yeah, Burisma, the one whose president was working with Hillary Clinton to scrape up dirt on, on Trump. That was the garbage he was asking for them to investigate, not the crap that you guys are pulling now. See, you can't even lie straight. You got to stutter. In the 2020 election. You know you can't beat him in the 2020 election. You guys couldn't beat him if you threw all 37 of your delegates at him at once. Your combined intelligence through all 37 of the people you've run through the middle wouldn't add up to half of our president. Stop it. And his removal? Wait till November, honey. You're getting removed. Documentation, witnesses. I love it. I want to know where Shift hid the documents with the exoneration of Trump, with the exculpatory evidence that would clear this whole thing up that he got out of the basement. Where's that? Where are those documents, Nancy? And so we can continue to screw our president. Pass a resolution naming the managers, as I mentioned, appropriating the funds for the trial. And the, the funds for the trial, great. Here goes another three, four hundred million you're going to waste. For trying to influence a foreign government for his own personal and political benefit. Chair Adam Schiff of California, our lead manager, kept chairman. Our head liar. The Dumo chair of the Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence is serving his 10th term in Congress. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before Congress, Mr. Schiff was a California state senator and served as a federal prosecutor. There's old pencil neck himself. For six years, most notably prosecuting the first federal FBI agent. Richard Look at Jerry Nadler. He's about to nod off there. He's so bored. Oh, can't nod off now. They're introducing you, Jerry. Look at that poor little guy. He must sit on three sets of yellow pages just so he can see over his desk at Congress. This dude is little. member of the House Judiciary Committee, Ms. Lofgren, is serving her 13th term in Congress. This is Chairwoman Lofgren's third impeachment as a Judiciary Committee staffer. Third impeachment? I would say she's been in there way too long. As a member of the Judiciary Committee. This is why we need terms. Impeachment and now as a manager in this impeachment of President Trump. Chair Hopkin Jeffries of New York. Chairman Hopkin Jeffries is the chair of the Democratic Caucus and is currently serving his fourth fourth term in Congress. He's a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Uh, before in, in Congress, he served in the Assembly of New York for six You guys are going to love it when he gets up. Litigator. That guy in the end there, Jesse. I have never Jeffrey seen a public butt-kissing job like this George, guy pulls George, off this morning here in about four Jeffrey minutes. Of New York District Court for the Southern District Congresswoman Val Demings of Florida. Congresswoman Val Demings is a member of both the House Permanent Select Committee on Intelligence and the House Judiciary Committee. Ms. Demings serving her second term in Congress. Before Congress, Ms. Demings served as Orlando Police Department for 27 years, part of that time as the first woman police chief in Orlando. So they don't care how qualified they are. As long as they got either a female or a person of color, they're going to promote them. Mr. Crow served his country, our country, bravely as an Army Ranger in Iraq and Afghanistan before coming, running for Congress. 
uh, Mr. Crow was a respected litigator in private. Crow. Wonder if he's related to Jim Crow. Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia of Texas. Congresswoman Sylvia Garcia is a member of the House Judiciary Committee. Before Congress, Ms. Con Ms. Garcia was served in Texas State Senate previously. Uh, she was the director and presiding judge of the Houston Municipal System and was elected city controller. Ms. Garcia was later elected the first Hispanic and first woman to be elected in her own right to the Harris County Commissioner's Court. As you can see uh, from these uh, descriptions, uh, the emphasis is on litigators. The emphasis is on comfort level in the court. The emphasis is making the strongest possible case to protect and defend our Constitution, to seek the truth for the American people. I'm very proud and honored that these seven members, distinguished members, have accepted this serious responsibility. Serious. Again, to protect and defend. We've been working on this for almost four years. When we leave here, a little bit later at noon, we'll go to the floor and pass a resolution naming the managers officially. But I wanted to say more about them here uh, and, and to say that the decision to come down in favor of litigators is necessitated uh, by the uh, clear evidence that we should have witnesses and we should have documentation and we have to make the strongest possible. Now, over in your Congress, the Republicans got no witnesses, no documentation, the exculpatory evidence that would unconvict our president is hid by Adam Schiff, old pencil neck, and now you want to cheat him again over in the Senate. We're going to take a few questions. Yes, Well, I'll yield to the distinguished chairman, but I will say that we had a strong case for impeachment of the president and removal for the president. Anything more would be in terms of where we go in the Senate, I'll yield to the chairman. We've always felt a certain uh, urgency about this uh, impeachment, given that the president was trying to get foreign help in cheating in the next election. But as soon as we did take up and pass it... Oh, you mean like... Allowing illegals to register to vote and get a driver's license in New York and in California. And we've proven that 50 million out of the 65 million votes that Hillary Clinton got were illegal. Articles Mitch McConnell made it clear that he didn't want a trial in the Senate, that he didn't want to hear from witnesses, that he didn't want documents. And this time has given us the ability to uh, this is the liar that's got exculpatory evidence that would clear the president the and he decides to hold it back because then he couldn't impeach him to essentially turn what should be a trial into a sham so everybody in America knows you can't trust nobody from California that's a Democrat because they're all liars cheaters and stealers but also forcing senators to go on record do they want a fair trial, one that's fair to the president, but also fair to the American people? Uh, or are they going to participate in a cover? Oh, now we're so talking about a fair trial. This is from a guy that wouldn't even allow the Republicans to ask questions in his hearings. No witnesses, no questions, no due diligence, no nothing. And the last thing I'll say is Ms. McConnell has taken to saying that the Senate should only consider the closed record that comes from the House. Right. Uh, and as if what the Senate is, is not a trial, but an appeal from a trial. But of course, the Senate, the framers had in mind a real trial with witnesses and evidence. And oh, kind of like you failed to do. Without witnesses, it will be exposed for what it is, and that is an effort to cover up for the president. Uh, finally, you're going to be exposed for what you are. A liar, a treasonous scumbag. Treasonous scumbag. There's two of them. Oh, there's three of them. Since April of last year, 
we still don't have a final court judgment. So, yes, we could have waited years to get testimony, further testimony from all the people the president has been obstructing. But essentially, that would completely negate the impeachment power. That is, allow the president, by virtue of obstruction, to prevent his own impeachment. And uh, that was an unacceptable course, particularly when the whole object of the president's scheme was to cheat in the election, which is the ordinary mechanism for dealing with a corrupt presidency. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker. He never once cheated. You just lie, lie, lie. That was more than propaganda. That was another one of Schiff's parodies that you just heard. He's good at it. And when you call him on it, he used to say, well, that was a parody. Now he just sticks to his lies. Beyond any reasonable doubt uh, that the president betrayed the country by using by withholding federal funds appropriated by Congress, breaking the law in doing so, in order... He betrayed the country, kind of like holding NAFTA deal back or the replacement, the Mexican-Canadian deal like Nancy Pelosi did, keeping a half a million Americans out of work for over a year. ...to extort a foreign government into intervening in our election to embarrass to try to embarrass a potential political opponent of his. This a William political Hill. opponent of his. Now, folks, they're actually referring to Joe Ball and Ball Biden, okay? Kind of like Bob Mueller. If any of you watched the Bob Mueller report like I did, Bob Mueller is not the same man he was 15 years ago. He's not the spry Vietnam hero he was 15 years ago. He's an old, beat-up war horse that knew absolutely nothing about the Mueller report, even though his name was on it. He knew absolutely nothing about it. Okay? Now, what they're trying to do, I have no idea. Okay? They think that they can uh, do this thing with get the Senate to roll with them like they did with a sham impeachment in the Senate. Well, you can't get two houses to be totally dishonest. That's our safety net, okay? And now you guys have got to pay the piper. You put together a terrible case, a lie-packed, lie-studded, star-filled, nobody witness, nobody seen a thing, we're taking words from people who heard it from somebody who heard it from somebody who heard it from somebody who read it in the New York Times. Are you kidding me? Folks, hang on to your seatbelts. It's going to get real. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to pray for your president. Don't forget to pray for me. I need it. And America. You have a very blessed evening. We're going to wrap this thing up because I can't get the other device to work, and this is going long. Needless to say, these brainless farts in Washington just teed me off. And Jerry Nadler, I think, is Satan's little brother, because after listening to him for about 14 minutes today, I wanted to just slap him. I've never wanted to just slap nobody. Even Obama is bad as I wanted to slap him. So I'm pretty sure he's Satan's little brother. You guys have a blessed night. Talk to you soon. Be glad when that laptop comes in. If you can, swing by Facebook. Check out GoFundMe. Punch in all capital letters. Decision making 2020. Throw a buck or two on there. You'll be blessed and so will I. Have a blessed evening. Bye for now.